Good morning, YouTube. It's Michelle, and it's Sunday morning. I'm at my kitchen table with my cup of coffee, getting geared up for church today. Um, wanted to do a quick share because this is going to one of my dear friends, Sue. Uh, Sue is a church friend who lives in a complex that has a community garden, and because of her love of gardening, she has solicited the help of various church members um, to grow produce during the summer. So I wanted to make her something to help her keep track of what's going on in her garden. So I'm doing this on my iPad. I've got to move it real quickly so hopefully no one gets sick, but here goes. I'm going to open it up so you can see. This is such a simple, this is just an envelope mini, and it's made from... I think there are 18 envelopes and it's super simple you just stick the flap of one into the other and um, anyway just comes together super quickly so uh, I uh, found some uh, printables on Pinterest for the cover it's a vintage C catalog cover and I found some print just to put her name on there and the lace is covering up the places where the envelopes come together. And then here is the back. So I'll just show you very quickly on the inside. I just wrapped the ribbon um, around the outside of the mini and then put the, the laces covering it at the fine. So just real quickly, you'll see how, you can just imagine how quickly this came together. So you can see, you take the one envelope and you basically face it away from you and stick down the, the lip in the previous envelope and you just continue that until you finish your book. So very simple. This really is to be a work, a working journal for Sue. So I did do put a little in belly here. This is back in the days when I was making paper linter molds. And so I happen to remember that I had this one of garden tools. So I may put that on there. But very simple. The envelopes themselves are really pretty brown, uh, lighter than craft uh, color. And then all I did was I just adhered some cardstock and the title of the particular vegetable. And this is where the picture's supposed to go. And then there's a card in each envelope for her to write notes about what went well, what didn't go well this season. So I'll do a very quick flip through. So she's got basil, beets, broccoli, cabbage cucumbers, eggplant, greens, lettuce, okra. She's got two types of peppers, and this is where I figured out I did this backwards. I got bell after hot, but that's good. <laughs> some spinach, some squash. I've been eating green and yellow squash, summer squashes all summer because of her garden. She's got sweet potatoes. Those won't come up until October. Tomatoes. And the cutest little baby watermelon. So anyway, so just a quick share. Oh, I forgot. Each page does have a little garden angel. I'll show you. It's a stamp that I've had. I'm sure I got that from stamping up. But she's so cute. So little garden angels watching over Sue and her garden. So and the rest of the sisters that are helping to harvest all of the produce. So anyway, again, just a very quick share. This comes together so quickly. And again, no embellishments because the idea is for her to be able to write in it and just keep track so that she'll know what she needs to do for next year. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great Sunday and a good week. It's Labor Day weekend, so hopefully you're sharing it with family and loved ones. Have a good day.